And we're alive. Welcome, everybody. 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 My name is Code Man. And we're live. Welcome, everybody. My name is Code Man. Let's get started. Come across the sleep code. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. For whatever reason, he wouldn't move. Now we're both asleep. Don't worry, I'm gonna crawl right next to you. Aw, don't we look cute. Robin's not helping me any. What happen if you don't answer the questions? Who do you work for? Who do you... Okay, I got a little trigger happy. I <laughs> love how he's just on fire now. I'll come up there and be a uh, bodyguard now. So I'm actually ready to uh, ready to be up there. Oh, really? Like, yeah. after I've asked you, like, oh god, For oh real. god, Fez, 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 Fez! Oh, oh no! What just happened? <laughs> Somebody clip that! Somebody clip that, please! Oh my god, I saw that happen. <laughs> Okay. Oh god! Oh shit! That was a legit reaction. I did. He was so fucking fast. Ah. Oh! Oh, 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 fuck you! Fuck you! I missed. <laughs> they shot him out of the fucking air. Okay. Who needs dead? I've got dead for anyone who wants it. Come here. Open the door. the door <laughs> can I yeah <laughs> he's just standing there just looking at each other just like can I just shoot him like it hello Rathy and my old friend I'm gonna stab you till you're dead Please die real good for me right now, please die! I'm gonna stab you right in the fucking eye! Please die! Stop moving! Do it now! Holy cow! This stream just got demonetized! Mostly because I'm under leveled and most things won't one shot me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> most things won't one shot me. Da -da 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 Bam. Did somebody clip that? God damn it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Alright, and yes, Chad, I did know I was muted. <laughs> it was a little prank. <laughs> to see if you guys would I'm testing well, you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm dicking around with my new camera, and I've got, like, this, like, really ridiculous, like, up-my-nose zoom. So I had it, like, <laughs> up in my beard, and my my moderator's like, uh, you're muted, and also, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new look, and I hate it. <laughs> Stop it, please. No, that's good content. Don't listen to them. Welcome.
We're going to be streaming some more Imposter Factory tonight, but I'm going to bullshit for a little bit because my notification came out quite late again. Like it just, I just got the notification less than a minute ago. So we're going to bullshit for a little bit. So any VOD watchers watching this who want to skip this, please skip this part. And I'm just going to talk about life, the universe, and whatever the fuck I want. Because I never know how to start these things. Like, once I get started, when I start streaming, that's when I kind of get into my groove. But until then, I kind of just like go, I don't know how to stream. I've only been doing this for a year. <laughs> it feels weird not uh, talking without some music. So we're going to... Put some music on actually before we do that because this is actually going to go up on youtube where's uh youtube friendly mode on this there is uh such a thing as dmca friendly music that is for whatever reason um friendly on twitch but not youtube like for some reason i don't quite understand that and they changed the layout god damn it uh, hold on i am I am professional streamer. I have. I am professional streamer. There we go. Get the fucking. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> now that I actually have some music to to listen to, I don't know why. When I'm just talking by myself, it doesn't feel right to just not have something going on in the background. Maybe that's just me, but it just feels too dead air kind of a thing. I don't know. I hate dead air. That's the one thing about streaming that I, I hate is I just cannot stand there being any silence whatsoever. It kind of bugs me. Maybe that's just because when I first started streaming and I didn't have anybody watching me per se, I may have, you know, gotten in the habit of just always talk, always say something like always be conversing with yourself. And I think that habit's kind of just always stuck. I just hit my microphone <laughs> again. I am I am professional streamer. Please, please don't don't leave. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm kind of in a in a weird mood today. My back's kind of bothering me today. Um, I just have no energy. It doesn't help that I took a pill that also doesn't help with energy. It actually it actually hurts your energy but yeah the uh the channel points thing did did you find what i was talking about i may have stolen something i can't help it okay i can't help it i don't i can't come up with uh ideas on my own <laughs> uh but yeah it's it's i think it's gonna be fun I think it's gonna be fun. I I kind of if you're if you're gonna redeem that like wait a little bit because I want to see if anyone else finds that. How you doing, Moon? How you doing? I uh I held off for a little bit because I didn't get my notification kicked like right away. So I think now that I have four people here, it's a perfect time to start Imposter Factory. Hope you're doing good, bud. By the way, um oh. Uh, quick life update while I'm while I'm uh, still bullshitting around. Um, my hot water heater is no longer working, sort of. Um, the breaker on it failed. And it's failed in a kind of spectacular way. It actually started arcing in the box. Yeah, so I cut the power to that. And uh, I'm going to have an electrician... Um, I'm going to have an electrician inspect it because even though theoretically I know how to change a breaker, they're not hard to change. Um, if there's something else wrong or the reason it failed, uh, I if I didn't notice that, like I'd rather someone who knows what they're looking at check it out. Cactus, why the hell are you subscribing to me? Don't do it. Don't do it. You, you do not get content here. You get whatever this is. <laughs> Thank you for the subscription. I really do appreciate it. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. I had so much fun when you and I were streaming with Brambley. Uh, what was that last week now? I don't know. I'm, I'm losing track of time. Uh, God help me. <laughs> I, I went from like... I went from like 
taking all of high school like it felt like a lifetime like co or college uh school was just a lifetime and then i got married and then like life just went into super like hyperdrive and then i you know hit 34 and then my life just kind of like ground to a halt again because like i'm in pain now yay <laughs> but yeah cactus if you weren't uh if you weren't hearing that just now the the breaker in my uh box for the water heater uh broke the breaker broke go figure but yeah it was arcing that's not good i'm gonna hopefully get that replaced this week all right let's uh let's get this started here in posture factory oh not god oh there it is i may have been downloading some demos for whatever reasons this has an update okay i'm pretty sure and it's done never mind All right, I'm going to switch over. And we're going to cut the music. And I'm going to double check. Check. Yep. I am in de displaying the game. Like I said, this game is not fun. Sounds like you can't catch a break. Well, yeah, honestly. Okay, is it just me or is this game darker than it should be? It's probably just me. Probably going blind too. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I hit begin. I hit, I hit uh, all that for. I hit begin. Why the fuck did I hit begin? <laughs> I am spurs. I am spurs professional streamer. <laughs> the fuck did I hit begin? <laughs> what is with me tonight? You guys are watching the... the beginning of the end for Code Man. <laughs> yeah, start over, mate. Find out what happens. Uh, or, yeah, find out what happens. Uh, take longer to find out what happens. Alright, so we hit continue and we hit the file that we've been fucking streaming on for I just say four hours and 24 minutes I did a three hour stream and a two hour stream professional streamer I'm I never really claimed it so to very quickly recap because I did a I did a shorter stream the other day um I forgot her name already Linry uh, she started working for uh, that company that was creating that memory interface and it nearly broke her because of how much she was working. And then Louie died. So she said, fuck this, it's not worth it. And she quit. And now her and Quincy are going to be taking hopefully a trip somewhere She's never really been on a big trip, so this should be interesting. So let's go ahead and see what they've got to say. Can I, can I click? Can I click on? Okay. Let's just go suck me in. Oh, she's excited. Wait, oh, I can move. Oh, okay. Was, was that it? <laughs> was, was that okay? <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> oh, they made it. It's the Eflay Tower, eh? <laughs> Let, let's be honest. Anyone would kill for this view right now. Including me. Eflay Tower, yes, that is the official French name. Just ask Moxie, who's actually still streaming, if I remember right. So, okay, so we're going from scene to scene and getting memory links, which is interesting because it's not usually how this works. Oh, Ah. Patty. 
Oh, fuck. What did I do? I broke it. I bro I broke it. I, I broke it. Okay, there. I fixed it. Don't worry about it. We're fine. Polly, yes. Polly. Make sure you pronounce the S's. The French love that. Well, when you're in Japan, make sure you don't pronounce the S's. Wait, no, that's the L's. I love how they remember that he's wearing a sombrero and nothing else. <gasps> oh, they're so fucking cute. They're so fucking cute. Oh, I love it. I don't have a problem. Okay. Let's just... Let's just pretend that I don't have a problem, please. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead. Do it. I'll seal all of his viewers because I'll be more French than he is. You can clip that too, so there's the context there. Oh my god, they're so cute. Also, I missed the, the view because I was... And I can't get it back because I was um, looking at chat. Yeah, take a good look. That's how a real man looks. Look at that ass! Oh! Oh, that's almost as good as Wasteland Jesus's. Look at that ass! She's like, no. I've seen penises before. Alright, as always, let's save. How long has it been since I played this game? You swear I'd forget. Again, I want a Kamehameha Dukin. Oh, shit! That was the door to fuck you land. I uh, know, Wasteland Jesus is sexier than that. 20 years? 20 years what? Oh wait, this is scrolling on its own. Why? 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 Why was it scrolling on its own? No, no, no. Oh, I I can't go into the. I can't go out of the menu. Why? That doesn't happen in this game. Oh, hold on, hold on. Can I? Since I. Oh, okay. I can't. I want. I want. I want to go back. I want to go back in time. I want I want to go back in time. I want to read what they said. Is that too much to ask? Oh, Venice. Gotta love Italy. Yeah, that that's where they eat um that's where they eat crab and um Taco meat. I, I I'm not missing a single word they're saying. I am not missing a single word that ha they're they're saying. All right, let's try this again. Now that I'm not like distracted, I'm very distractible tonight. I'm just reading this in normal voice. Hey, Quincy. I'm glad we went on this trip. We'll come back again one day. 
I I rewound time for that. <laughs> It was worth it. All right, now hopefully we can get some voice acting in. Yeah, some some voice actor talent is going to going to discover me here for my for my amazing my amazing voices, especially the pompous asshole voice, which is actually what I call it. By the way, the oh, I make up like eighty percent of the net worth here. That is literally what I call that voice. Lenry? Yeah, I figured this was gonna happen. Are you all right? Yeah. I'm just a bit air sick from the bumpy flight, I think. Okay, so considering her condition, it's probably starting to get worse. Either that or she has a bun in the oven. But I'm banking on the, the first one. Are you sure? I've never seen you get airsick before. I'll give your doctor a call. Let's get you checked just to be sure. Okay, so I can move again. The scene transitions are weird because they usually don't happen like this. So I'm very like weirded out when I get control back. Pregnant? Oh, okay. So I guessed wrong. <laughs> like sort of. I just I just uh back I just backed the wrong horse. Yes, so it seems. Congratulations. Oh wait, is that a female doctor? Or, uh, fuck it, they're trans. <laughs> Pardon me. Is this not planned? I mean, no, but... But... But, Doctor... My files? Yes. I know about your condition. Then... Can I really still... Honestly? It's a legitimate concern. But, how do I put this? Most people have some sort, uh, some form of hereditary risk factor to pass on, Linry. Now, if this is something with extreme risk like Huntington's or deterrence might be called, But with other serious, but common types such as cancer, then it's typically not. For the baby, anyway. Your rare concern, on the other hand. Although also severe, it falls somewhere in between. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not exactly encouraging it. And there are some other issues. But this is a decision that only you two can make. <clears throat> again, I have control again already, and I can't click on anything. Like, the these scene transitions are a little bizarre to me. Because usually they don't do anything like this. What are you thinking? Are we... Really considering this? I don't know, but... We have to make a decision. You did say you wanted a family, right? Yeah, but 
this is about more than just what I want. I mean, not too long ago, I was still preoccupied about my own livelihood. I suppose I've been doing well lately, but still. Maybe we can book some tests. Medical advances have come a long way. It only tell us the odds. I'd be risk it'd be a risk either way. And even with all that aside, to become parents at all. What about you, Quincy? I mean, would you even want to start a family? Oh wait, that's still her. <laughs> would you even still want to start a family? Honestly. Before my grandmother passed away, she was the only family I had for so long. I can barely remember being together with my parents, but I still remember the feeling. To have our own family? Honestly, that sounds rather nice. As you said, this is more than just about that. I'm afraid, Quincy. Me, me too, but it's our decision to pair. For what it's worth, just know whichever we choose, I'll see it through with you until the end. And again, like, Quincy, the, this Quincy, not that Quincy, this Quincy's saying nothing. He's not commenting at all on this. He's just kind of seeing all this played out and just taking it all in. I almost feel like they're talking to someone there, but I'm not sure. And she's decided to get some air, I hope. Oh. Okay, was that her lab coat? Yeah, they they went through with it, which I'm I was sure of, but <sighs> All right. So this person's going to be trans because I think that's funny anyway. <laughs> not not the fact of being trans, just like giving giving this person a doctor's like a male doctor's voice, which is the only doctor's voice I can give. And right there. Yep. There's the heartbeat. Did you say heartbeat? I see it. And over here is the arm. We got an arm, Linry. And the other arm yes there are indeed two arms this kid is in fact not disarmed we can confirm that wow again like I would love to like click on some stuff and like get this Quincy's like thoughts on the matter but He's not saying a damn thing about it. Alright, um... Generic female voice too, I guess? 
comfy shoes for sure. Don't forget the prenatal vitamin. vitamin. But most importantly, sleep. So you can have something to reminisce about. Now, I was trying to like spacebar because spacebar is also interact. And I was just making sure like the cursor wasn't changing. Oh, we're thinking Tobias, if a boy. And Gabriel, if a girl. Oh, those are lovely names. Dear, come on. This is wonderful news. Yeah. Take extra good care, okay, Lynn? I will. By the way, you know you can already find out, right? Wait, find out what? Duh. Personally, if I ever had a baby, I didn't want to know. Was she holding? Oh, they're at uh, a sweet shop. I think she's got something there. Another checkup. Well, it looks like. What is it? Yep. It's a boy. You got a baby boy. It's gonna be named Tobias, which is kind of okay as long as you nickname kid Toby. Okay, so he's bringing home stuff and ice cream, apparently. Low shopping. Oh, and this one. This will look adorable on Toby. It looks a little big for a newborn mom. Oh, Lynn, we won't have time to shop like this when the time comes. He walked over here. He did that, I didn't. I would love to be able to click on things. Oh, morning sickness. How's this? Mm-hmm. And this? Mm-hmm. And what about this? Stop! You're you're gonna make this you're gonna start a little baby. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, is this is a baby shower. A little anticlimactic when we all got spoiled already. Psh. I'm not gonna let you miss the chance for the reveal party. Oh, that's what this is, which he just shot blue. Well, at least you're not using a smoke machine. <laughs> Yeah, I think in Quincy's hands, that might be a little dangerous. I want to click on stuff. I want him to comment on this, but he's just not saying a word. I feel a kick. That was just my stomach growling. Oh, yeah. Maybe dinner first? Wait. Was that your stomach, too? No. That wasn't? Nope. That wasn't your stomach? <laughs> He's like, shocked. Oh, up here. Yep, 
still beating strong in there, the little guy. And it seems like... Hmm... What is it? Is something wrong with the baby? No, the baby seems fine. It's just... You know, just out of precaution, let me book you a couple of extra tests in the coming weeks. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't, I don't like the sound of that. Also, again, how does Quincy not remember any of this? Your childhood home, huh? Yeah. I wanted to take you here for a long time now. I was a bit thirsty. <clears throat> if only we lived closer to it. Better late than never. So... Is this where you want- where you keep your nostalgic treasure? Well... There's always something. I'm pretty sure, by the way, we're gonna finish this game tonight. If it's short, then I might play something else. But I'm- I'm kinda hoping that it's gonna be two hours. Or, not two hours, three hours long. Wow. You sure read a lot as a kid. Yeah, I love to. It made me feel like I lived many different lifetimes. It's weird how you can imagine you saying that as a kid with a straight face. Huh? The Little Prince? Yeah. My dad gave me this so many years ago. It's strange how, as the years went by, its story meant something different to me. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot lately where, like, different things I interpret different as I am now than when I was in the past. Hey, let's bring it back. Maybe we could read it to Toby one day. Mm-hmm. Toby. You just now fucking said something. Also, you went this way. Oh, okay. They went this way, I thought. Also, don't go into the dark. That's where Rice Spot is. We don't want to get myrtleized by, by Rice Spot. Of course, the cliche painting of the walls. Have a good one, Cactus. Enjoy your dinner. Linry? Yeah, I'm okay. I am just... Yep. Yep, she passed out. It did take a turn for the worse. Oh. Usually when you see... Oh, no, this is uh, representing an ambulance light. Never mind. Oh, remember when we first came in through the door? We passed by an ambulance. I don't know if you remember that, but yeah, we passed by an ambulance, and I didn't really think much of it at the time. Waiting to strike when you least expect it. I know. Rice Bot, we're on to you. Are... Are you sure? 
I'm afraid so. We ran multiple scans. The development is acute. And as it seems to worsen ra and it seems to be worsening rapidly. Why now? Of all times. And the baby? The baby appears to be fine, but but well, because we caught this so early, there's time to treat you, Linry. Well, that's good. It's not certain, but the prognosis is decent if we if we start treatment immediately. Wait. To start immediately? Is that okay? For the baby? Unfortunately, no. We need to prematurely induce birth before starting treatment. I induce birth? But it's too early! I know. We have facilities to try and keep the baby alive in that case, but... Birth this early is often not without lasting complications. And... If we withhold my treatment until he's ready... Then we'd miss the optimal window to help you. There should be time for the baby to continue development uninterrupted, but for you, even if the even in the best case, delayed treatment would still result in life altering impairment. And in the worst case, well, Doctor, we need you in room 5. I'll give you two a moment to think about it. Damn. This shit got really heavy in this stream. I know it's difficult, but given its nature, we need to t make a decision promptly. I'm sorry you have to choose. What were we even thinking? How did we... How did I ever think this was a good idea? It's my fault. You wouldn't have it. You wouldn't have it if it weren't for me. That's not why I... It's... It was all like a hazy dream now, you know? Traveling the world with you, preparing for the baby. This past year, it was all so... normal. I just... didn't want to wake up. You should get the treatment. What? I'm saying it so you don't have to. Quincy. I'll do my best to take care of him regardless. But you... It's... The only way that you will be able to. That's not fair to him. 
Neither would it be for him to grow up without a mom. That's... That's something we should have thought of way before we made a mistake. Okay? I made a mistake. If we can't change the past... Sorry, we can't change the past. But we can still decide from this point on. Quincy. We can't lose you. Jesus. Yeah, I have a feeling we're coming up to an end here. So it looks like they've said something to the doctor. She's going to get the treatment. Yeah, she's going to get the treatment. I have a feeling something went wrong, though, because we're obviously in Lenry's memories. This is happening from her perspective. Lenry. You're awake. Quin Quincy? How are you feeling? I feel okay. The procedure went smoothly, Linry. We'll continue with the follow-ups, but so far, you're in the clear. And the baby? And the pre premature ward. Is that what they call it? The premature ward? He's stable now. But we'll need to monitor him for another couple of months. His organs aren't fully developed. And we're keeping him on a ventilator. But even then, our help can only go so far. I'm not sure how he'll do as he grows up, but it won't be easy. Do your best to take care of him, okay? Looks like they're taking, uh, taking Toby home. They never did paint the rest of it. They've had to take Toby in for more tests. Oh, wow. Toby 
really did have a lot of complications. Yamas. Oh my god. I have a feeling their time together is going to be short. I'm almost wondering if he hasn't recalled everything at this point and he's just not saying. Oh, we're back at uh, the parents' house. Yes, the feels are back. That's uh, that's called emotion, Moon. All emotion. In his current condition. Do you think he'll be okay to go out? Linry. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is Tobias speaking. Dad, where are mom and grandpa going? We're off to get you some real cool, something real cool. So just hang in there, okay? Okay. Mom, have anything? Yeah. Are you hungry, Toby? Anything you want, just let us know. You're doing good, champ. I don't think we've ever had the the free roam of this place. I want to check in here. Yeah, there's nothing in here right now. I don't think I've ever been in here there's a ladder well yeah I hope you enjoy your lurk fairy oh well, there's the telescope could use a little dust and but still works like new I can't believe how long it's been Let's just hope the stars haven't left, huh? I wanted to wait until he was a little older. Why is that? Well, you only get to see it like that for the first time once. It's nice when it can be appreciated as more than just pretty lights in the sky. Do you still remember when you took, first took me stargazing? How could I forget? I asked if you wanted to be a star or lavender. 
and you said you wanted to be a star so that so that everyone else could see how lovely the lavender are I lied you know I mean at the time it was silly I just wanted to make you proud Later on, though I actually did strive to be a star, I was never really because I wanted to. It was only because I was afraid of missing my chance to shine. I know I'm supposed to want to strive for greatness and leave a mark, but... Is it wrong if all I really wanted to be is just another lavender? I don't know about wanting to strive for greatness, Lynn, but... I know those who leave a mark often never set out to do so. But they do so nevertheless and often in the most unexpected of ways. And hey, whether you like it or not, you sure still left a mark on me. I mean, sure, it might not mean something to the whole world, but... Meaning the whole world to someone still counts for something, right? As you do to me, and I'm sure Tobias does for you. I know you still blame yourself, Linry, but that won't do you any good. Nobody's here forever. All we can do is make the most of what we're given. And that includes time. So, let's take him out to see the wonders this world has to offer, huh? Yeah. What was that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, shit. Toby, can you hear me? Please, send someone right away. No, he's not. He disappeared. Oh no. I haven't saved in a while. Oh no. Yeah, being the star seems like a lot. And honestly, being something like that to everyone has a lot of burden on a person. I've often asked myself if I could handle that and I don't think I could. Oh my god. I know that feeling all too well. My house just seeming empty. 
feeling that there's nothing you can do. The world for you stops, but the world still carries on for others. Sometimes just knowing that is just a lot to take in. She went back to him. She wants... She wants others to be able to... Live out the things that they weren't able to do. Or dreams they had that... Fell to the wayside because... Because life... Changed their direction for them. She went back on the team, even after years later. Looks like she's a resident there now, too. They were trying to get her to live on campus. <clears throat> Looks like Quincy's trying to call her. Wow, she worked on it for the rest of her life. You see her hair graying? Holy. She spent the rest of her career there. Yeah, the, these games make you feel things that you don't know how to process. I forget what voice I gave him. I think it was almost like an Arnold-type voice. Linry, everything's ready for tomorrow's pres presentation. The tests all went through without a hitch. Great work, Al. Why'd I say that in my voice? You should get some rest. You'll be here early tomorrow. You're still working? Yeah. One more test never hurts. Huh. I'm not going to argue with you. I have a feeling doing one more test alone is not a good idea. Yeah, they've really come a long way, but it took them so long. But whose memory would she go into? Or is she not going into anyone's? Initialize. Welcome back. Doctor, is that is that right spot? You can't go into your own with this technology, though. Uh, as we've seen from previous games. System, run a stress test via artificial memory convergence. Please choose test entity reference. Search memories for snow. Did, did Rice Bot become this? Wait. There. Go back.
Okay, I, I'm gonna eat my words here. Um, I've never seen this happen. Is she erasing her memories of everything? No. No, Linry, why would you? No. Entity selection confirmed. Keep personality and traits. Yes. Ape. Ex I know how to pronounce that word in my head. Extrapolated memories. No. Use generic memories. Please select memory setting for artificial insertion. It doesn't matter. Choose one for me. She worked on this project just so she could forget everything. That's insane. Memory loaded. Visit at Yuhane's estate. That's fine. I don't know if that's happening here. It looks like she's changing her memories to me. Init Wait. Integate Integrating foreign entity of memory setting. I don't, I don't, in, 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 uh, integrating. In integrate, okay, I don't. She just made herself look like her younger self. Oh. Yeah. Entity navigation, activation in three. Two. One. Innate. Innating. Oh, okay. In Innate. I, I can't, I can't say, I can't read or say that apparently. I haven't been able to control any of this. Holy shit, the data's full. Initiate. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Initiating. Okay, then why isn't there an H in that? <laughs> and here's the Linry we met so long ago. So, you've reached the end. I'm almost screaming this at you right now. Because English is hard. English is hard. I'm sorry. Try streaming. Try sitting in this chair. Doing at least an attempt of voices with emotion without your throat, like, giving out. And, uh, you, you tell me how easy it is. Also, I'm, I've been trying to catch when I've been streaming for, uh, one hour and nine minutes to say nice for the 69th minute I've been live and I've missed it every fucking time. I hate myself. <laughs> so, you've reached the end. Are you actually? I know you have more questions, but... I have urgent theory that needs your help testing. 
Would you come back to the mansion with me? I don't really have a choice, do I? Oh, God. I haven't been able to control anything for a while. I've been just watching. I have been having to click through the text bubbles. That's pretty much it. Act th oh, Act 3? So there is more. Yeah, English just takes what it wants. Yeah, f fuck English, honestly. <laughs> Downstairs. Downstairs. And if I don't want to? What is it? I mean... What isn't it? But... For one, I guess, I'm still trying to get used to this being the real you. Hey, I didn't mean that in a bad way. And even then... Why would you care about what I think, anyway? Downstairs. Christ. What if I want to go play with the cat? Fuck this shit. The door's locked. Well, fuck. Can I, can I go play chess? Oh, I can play chess. Bitchin'. I'm just gonna sit here and play chess. You want me to go downstairs on you, and I don't want to go downstairs on you. P -p Poogie? P -p Poogie? Oh, hold on. We, we have a Poogie. There. That's what that does. <laughs> That's all that does. <laughs> I figured it wouldn't take someone too long to, to redeem that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Why, why is everybody here all uh, ghosty and... Whoa. Can I... Entity deactivated. Entity deactivated. Is it going to say that for every single one? Entity deactivated. Okay, it's going to say that for every single one. You know what? I'm going to go and rewind time. I'm going to go wash my hands, and we're going to forget all this fucking happened. Just an ordinary sink. Is that a pig in a moog costume? Yes. That is a pig in a moog costume, and that is the pig from Monster Hunter. <laughs> Um, I mean, you could try it. So this isn't a time machine. I want to destroy this. I want to destroy this toilet. I'm not in the mood. Entity deactivated. All right, well, fuck me then. Wait, can I can I click on that? Fresh garlic. All right, well, at least we know it's fresh, everybody. I'm gonna click on everything. For just the sake of I fucking want to. <laughs> She's kind of scaring me right now. She's, she's kind of gone off the deep end. Wait, if I go... Wait, no, I did try and go up there. I, I want to see the cat. Is the cat deactivated? Also, can I click on that? A strange crystal. Yep, there's nothing different about any of this. She's basically God here. You have no idea. You have no idea. She seems preoccupied. Maybe I should sneak around first? Oh, it's giving me that option. Wait, you know what? Not yet. 
Not yet. Can I go? Can I go over here? What time is it? What what time is it? Three twenty-one. All right. Perfect. It's just in the nick of time. Oh, there is some stuff. What the pug? This fountain wasn't there something on it? Oh yeah, there was that uh, little crystal ball on the top of it, wasn't there? I guess the place just getting more and more weird now, but I'm glad I came down here. Maybe I should ask Linry if I get the chance. Again, Sir Flu Fox, I have not seen you all game. I would like to see you. Just once, please. It's locked. Well, fuck me. I don't think there's anything else I can really click on, so I'm just going to go back inside. That's a little nice piece of information that we didn't have before. Also, I'm going to save. Nope. Her, dumbass. Hey. It's almost ready. What is... And... What is all of this? By compiling a batch of test case to check for certain suspicions. It was about done, but you were out too soon. Too soon? It felt like I was in there for quite a while. You were in a separate data stream where time is experienced differently. It's only been a few minutes over here. Resuming compilation, 67%. Wait, where's Rice Bot? I, I just realized. W where's Rice Bot? I need to. F I, okay. Rice Bot's gone, everybody. Rip Rice Bot. Actually, while you're waiting, I have a question for you. For me? This close to greatness, only 67%. I know. So close. Yes. Given what you've seen... Given what you've seen... Am I... A terrible, selfish person? No. I mean... I'm going to assume... That she did this, so... Because her son was not able to... See the world... Or, sorry, see the stars... Like she wanted... She may have had the chance to give him that before he passed away. I think she's trying to give this ability to other people. So people's dreams can become reality before they die. Which is what this ultimately this machine does for people. I'm afraid that she's going to use it for selfish means, but I think ultimately her her overall goal for this device is fairly pure, but I just have my reservations with it. percent off I know it's kind of sad really I don't think that's fair to say I mean I can't say that you did all the right things but I don't know how many people could have if they were actually in your shoes like how you can still click on this but selfish I suppose so Damn, Quincy. He's gonna drop that on her? I wasn't 
I mean, Quincy wasn't exactly altruistic either, but he really did seem to try his best to put your happiness above all else. Linry. Compiling 72%. We missed it! I want to bang on my table, but I also don't want it to shock the mic. We missed it! Greatness lost, really? We had a perfect opportunity. Kind of mad. I see. Well, we still have time, so I'll return the favor. Anything you'd like to ask me? Why? Hmm? Why do you even care what I think? I mean, if I am what I am, then why are you even talking to me as if I'm actually him? Because you... Because I'm supposed to be the test... I'm supposed to be testing your believability. That's all. Is that so? Compiling 76%. Now, would you like to ask any actual questions while there's time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what was up with the sink? About that sink in the washroom. I know now that time isn't being rewound, but why did it do what it did? The sink never did anything. I know this is hard to believe, but it was a coincidence. Or rather, a series of coincidences that happened over and over. As I was debugging, I reset the scenario a few times in the process. It was an oversight, but because you were an inserted entity and not a native, you were not reset. And I just happen to be using the sink every time you did a reset. Yes. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? It is oddly probable, improbable, but above a 0%, but still not above a 0% possibility. One of the reasons for my suspicion, actually, but... We'll test that soon. Compiling. 82%. I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna step out for a minute real quick. I gotta... I'll be right back. It was like I was never even gone. So what the... <laughs> Hold on, I got something on my glasses. <laughs> it drives me nuts when I, like, see a spot on my glasses and it's like, that, that fucking wasn't there a second ago. Okay, so what was up with the murders? Like, the... These two, they kept dying all the time. So what was up with that? So... Hey, I hope you have a good day. Take care. So what was up with the murders happening? I mean, this situation is based on your memories, right? So how come it didn't... I didn't see it in the flashbacks. 
because the murders never happened. At least, I don't remember it happening. Which is strange, because it seems to be unavoidable in this situation based on my memory. Did you figure out why? Not yet. But that's what I'm setting up. I'm afraid I'm about to... Compiling 88%. It's almost complete. There's just time for a couple more questions. Well... Okay, wait. Oh, no. I thought I had time for... Oh, shit. Okay, so... Double Linry. I think that one's fairly obvious. That one was the past. Um, time travel tunnel, tunnel room. The real Quincy. Let's ask about the real Quincy. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... Quite a few years skip at, by at the end of the montage. What happened to me? I mean, Quincy. I don't know. You don't know? I don't. It's been many years since we've talked. After everything that happened, we just went our separate ways. Or perhaps, more accurately, I did. Compiling, 94%. Last question, and we're starting. Uh, um... Missing, missing fountain statue. Let's ask about this since, uh, he did call this out. Um... Because the rest of it, like, I kind of have an idea what she would say, but this I don't. Oh, yeah. I saw something weird outside. You know that fountain? There was... Um... Excuse? Why was there a glitch, and why wasn't he able to ask that question? I am very confused now. Um, time tunnel room then. That room upstairs you sent me in. What's so special about it? What? What the fuck? You scared the shit out of me. Also, I gotta do something real quick. Don't worry about it. I've just never been that I've just never been in that particular room in all my years. That's all. Since this place is based on my memories, it's just a void space in there, so I used it. Honestly, there's still a lot of issues with these reconstructions. The exterior seems to be based on a more recent memory of it than the interior, for one. Still, a lot of work to be done. Compiling, 100%. Okay, it's ready. I prepared a batch of test scenarios with particular variables. Notably, the location of Dr. Haynes and Dr. Yu and their intent. As for you, you will be my observer. Observer? Yep. All you have to do is go into the rooms and lock it and look at them. That's easy. Look at them to check if they're dead? That's easy, but less appealing. It's for science. Oh, then, uh, yay? Indeed. Are you ready? Yes, yes, definitely yes. That's all I get. Definitely. Great. Now go check the bathroom. The bathroom? Yep. 
I stuffed them in there first. Um, stuffed. Stuffed. You you use the word stuffed. I'm not sure how I like. I I don't know. Linery, you're scaring me. Can you not? That bathroom is like the only sanctuary I had left. It's fine. I'll be monitoring and waiting right here. Besides, you need to learn to get outside of your comfort zone. Oh, we're way beyond the concept of comfort zone. Hi. Looks like you haven't stopped at the Myrtleization Station. Uh, I see them. Shh. Good. Now come back out. Shh. But I want to. I want to talk to them. Uh, hello. They don't seem to be responsive. I guess I should head out. No. No. Talk to them. Talk to them. Sit on the golden shitter. Do something. I think you stuck your dick in crazy, man. So, alive or dead? Alive, I think. They aren't moving or responsive, though. <clears throat> yeah, I've sent them on a different layer. Okay, now go back in and out a few more times and report their status. All right. Whoa. Okay. Now, still alive, but they're closer. Oh, that was me, sorry. I moved them for convenience. Go on, again. Okay. And they're dead. Oh, shit. L Linry! Dead, Linry. They're dead. Uh, are you sure? Yes. This could be bad. It is bad. They're dead. Okay, I'm going to log off and get Dr. Kim to come and help. Ah, oh, my voice is getting shot here. Just check on the other rooms while I'm gone, all right? Wait, you're leaving me alone to check on... More bodies? What's the issue? Oh, sorry. What's the issue? You've already seen much worse earlier. Besides, you know they're not real. I know I'm not real. I mean, in terms of realness, they're just as real as me. Fair point. Okay, then. Here. Here. Is that the murder cat? What is this? Your bodyguard. My bodyguard? Yeah, he protect. No! No! Why? Why did you... Stop it. You know what you did. Stop it. Seriously? Unbelievable. I know, right? Oh, God damn it. Okay, I'll be back as soon... I'll be back soon. Good luck. What? What? Wait! And she's gone. Tell me, do you really protect? Mm. 
Linry is a troll. Yeah, pretty much. You don't protect. What the? I am system. Oh, I've seen you, you and her memories. Good. System supervises Quincy while Lenry is gone. You now. I like how the cat also face palms. Guess I'm gonna be babysat by a giant talking sound wave. Do not be afraid, for this is not my final form. Why? God damn it. Why do you do this to me? Why do you, why do you fucking do this to me? Free bird. Stop it. Get some help. This is the second reference in like two minutes. Stop it. Helps if I click back into the game. Behold, a form even you may comprehend. That's even worse! What is going on? Also, Rose, I, I just wanted to wait for somebody to, uh... To find that naturally, since I did tell you there was something to find. Um, yeah. Rice spot? Indeed. Rice spot was merely the humble beginning of my AI. I called it! I said that that was Rice spot. I fucking called it! You one of a bitch. Yep. He, he won of a bitch. But now I am much more. I am creator of worlds and cooker of rice. Taste my rice. Uh, taste it. I like how he hands it to the cat. Holy shit. This. This. This is the tastiest rice I've ever eaten. What is happening right now? How can something taste this good? Nobody knows. I need to know. There is no way to know. But when Quincy completes mission, reward is more rice. What are we waiting for then? Let's go find them. Rice bot sis joins the party. But the cat the, the cat protect didn't join the party. Oh uh yeah, you can come too. Cat 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 joins the party. Now, let us proceed to the party hall, the kitchen, and the study. Repeatedly until they die. There ought to be a better way about this. Alright, I'm gonna go in the kitchen first. Hi. You, you live. Do you protect? Kitty, what do you even do? Please exit the room to reset and then enter again. Hey, do you mind me asking what's the point of this? I mean, we're just resetting until they're dead. Why is... why not just make them dead? 
It is not about them dying, but when they die. Each reset is configured with specific conditions. Patterns will be derived from experiment data. That's why RiceBot is offering Rice to Quincy even when no one else could see him. Yeah. Yeah, because he could see them. Hypothesis will be tested because cause will be determined. We had a good reason to suss him from the beginning. I know. It was obvious that he's, he, he is sus-worthy. Hypothesis? All right, well, good enough. And they're dead. That was quick. Anomaly detected. Oh. The, the cat doesn't... Okay. Death anomaly observed. Please proceed to next room. Okay. Yep, all right. They are very dead potatoes. Can I can I kill you? Hi. Dead potatoes, yes. Okay, I didn't see that. I didn't read that because I thought it was something he said before. Yes, why he needed me here. Because Quincy also test subject. In addition, data shows Quincy presence alters results. I change things by being here? Why? Inconclusive. More data needed. Fucking rice bot. Well, they're not dead potatoes yet. Okay. And they're dead. Anomaly detected. What happens if I talk to him? Wait a minute. Does this have something to do with the cat? No, not you. You know, the, uh... The... 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 Shiro? The Shroom Digger's cat. The fuck? Do you mean Schrodinger's cat? No, I'm pretty sure it's the Shroom Digger's cat. It does not. Oh. Okay. Death anomaly observed. Please proceed to the next room. Wait, are you getting longer? He is. The cat is getting longer. Does the cat actually protect? But I, but I want to. I want to go into other rooms though. Stop. Hoover time. Um, okay. Wow, so powerful. Oh, not Hoover time. Hover time. Excuse me while I read wrong. All right, well, they're alive. Yeah, you're definitely getting longer. Please exit the room to reset and enter again. Wait, it just occurred to me. By doing the resets, I'm... Am I technically the one killing them? The cat is becoming long. Boy, stop it, Rose. Stop it. Get some help. We're watching both the cat and rice bot, especially rice bot. By doing this, I am technically the one killing them. 
Quincy is not the one doing the reset. Oh. Ooh. However, Quincy is cause of death by observation. Yeah, he is extra sus. Damn it. Wait. What do you mean? Professor status only calculated upon observation. Quincy observation causes status. Status is death. Therefore, Quincy causes death. Okay. I don't like that. Why? Hi. Why, why are you long, boy? God, God damn it, now you got me doing it. Are you so long, but why? Well, they're myrtleized now. Anomaly detected. All current anomalies noted. Awaiting Linry for report. Okay. Wait. If instead of the two professor... Wait. If instead of the two professors, it's the cat. Then... Would it be like shrooding... Shroom Digger's cat? It would not... Okay. Are you fucking high, Quincy? I could barely fucking read that. I got sucked back upstairs. And she's in the fetal position. Eat. Linry, you're back? <clears throat> Linry? What's going on? Whoa! What are you doing? Uh, Linry, you're scaring me. I just need a moment. Ugh, my voice. What happened? What did you see out there? <laughs> you saw them myrtleized, didn't you? This predicted their myrtleization station stop off. Hey, you can tell me it's not like I'm gonna run with it. Linry? Linry, initial tests were completed. The hypothesis holds. Continue. Yeah. I'll be there soon. Affirmative. Proceeding to party hall. The hypothesis? Please proceed to the party hall. Okay. Well, looks like we're in the, um, the test room, the, um, yeah, the party reveals part of it. It is starting. Huh? I remember this from the memories. They demo the machine right here, right? I don't think the replay got that far, though. This is the furthest point. Huh? Death is variable, but... All death tangents link to this moment. When they demo the machine for the guests? Affirmative. 
data predicts if we leave this room now everyone will die everyone here will die data predicts uh okay well um looks like they're proceeding now let us leave this room what do we do what do we have to do wait what do we have to do we have to i can't read this is imperative leave this room and come back to confirm Okay, so he just told me to leave. Okay, so he won't let me get closer. And Linry's gone. What the? She's gone. Data shows Linry is offline. Again? She will be back. In the meantime, please return to the party hall. And yep, they're all dead potatoes. Deaths confirmed. Resetting room. Wait. If you could just reset the room while we're here. Why did we have to leave and come back every time earlier? Leaving was not necessary for reset then. Well, then why do it? <laughs> Leaving was necessary for death. Oh. Okay. What? Whenever they look, or sorry, whenever we look, they do not die. Whoa, what happened? I, I can't be certain. This isn't supposed to, it's never happened before. Under this scenario, equipment damage occurs. Our computing unit in basement is destroyed. It destroyed? How? Data unknown. Resetting. Now, the final test. Quincy will go to the basement. Oh. Okay. The core, the core computing control room? Affirmative. Both sites will be observed. Data anomaly is expected. What kind of anomaly? Unknown. Guess I'll find out then. Do you remember the entrance? Yes. The pool table. Affirmative. Please proceed. Yep. Wait. Oh yeah, give me my fucking rice. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. If you give me a fucking sword, I swear to god I'm done. Take this. Uh, yeah, the cat just, like, does not want to. <laughs> Take this, he free- he freezes him. Cat joined the party. <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? Wait, hold on. Give me my fucking rice. Please proceed to the bit. In case of anomaly, he will protect. You guys keep saying that, but I just don't see it happening. Again, where's my fucking rice? No, he gave you protect, cat, I know.
I remember right, the computing is over here. Okay, we're down. Kind of creepy with no one here, though. <clears throat> what was that noise? Also, can I, like, explore? Is there a point to exploring? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna do so anyway, because fuck it. Yep, looks like there's no reason to explore. What the pug? <clears throat> I don't remember this hall being nearly this long before. Uh oh. Shit's about to go down, I can't sprint. What was that? Did you... Did you hear that? Something's not right. Yeah. Happy October, everybody. Happy spoopy month. Okay, you know what? Stop. Just stop. What the pug is this? Why is this corridor so long? Where does that light keep coming from? And what was with all the weird sounds? You hear that? Freaking creepy wood creaking. How? It's all metal concrete down here. And there's no wood. And you. What did you even do? How are you supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife. You're just a cat. And now that I'm thinking about it, you aren't even that long. If you were, if only you were actually helpful. Ow. Hey, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It's just... It's just been a rough day, you know? I mean, first all the murders, and then I find out that I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that stings. On the upside, I guess it is really... I guess it really can't get any worse from here. Don't say that because it's usually when it does. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Wait, what was that? Why? 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 Fucking Pokemon uh, transformation? Really? Pokemon transformation. <sighs> you've... You've changed. You become something else, something more. Scared the shit out what of me. 
cat has evolved into protect. Stop it, Rose. Just stop it. You're you're taking the lead? At the darkest hour. You've really come through for me. What is even real anymore? Don't know. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. And he just elongated. Alright, let's go observe the pug out of this computer. I am now the cat. And I... Nope, I can't attack. I also still can't sprint. Protect gives head pats. Hello? Linry? You're... You're back? Yeah. Sorry I had to step out to double check something. Are you almost at the control center? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading down to it seems to be stretched. It seems to be looping. Boy, I'll say. Wait, you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. It should be fixed now. Uh, thanks. Why was it like that? It's not certain, but the room should be just up ahead now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. All right. I want to I want to punch something as this elongated cat. Well, we're finally here. You ready? Okay, Linry, do you hear me? Yeah. The scene is already is ready and loaded. Should we uh prepare for something? Just being there is enough. We'll have your data stream. You only need to stand there and observe. Okay, I'm good at that. Well then, shall we begin? Begin the final test. Ah, uh, what if I say not yet? Wait. Maybe we should uh, check the place first. You know... To make sure there's nothing suspicious? Might as well. More data doesn't hurt. I didn't think this would actually... I think this would actually do anything. But make it quick. The machine's ready when you are. Oh, I can click on shit. Begin the final test? No. Whoever designed these is surely nostalgic for a different time. All right. Sorry, I hit my mic. That's one way to recycle an MRI machine. There's no one there. I guess there's supposed to be stubbed memory data for seed. Or they're just using stub memory data for seed. Memory data stub loaded. Okay, and that. Let's click on this. Did they really need a chandelier for lighting when RBG LED would have sufficed? Yeah, okay, I didn't realize that's what that was. Ah, uh, alright, I guess. Oh, hold on. I, I thought I saw another blinky that I didn't click on. Okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Alright. I don't see anything unusual here. Don't know why I thought I'd be able to. Now that I think about it. 
We're ready, Linry. Let's do it. Okay. The demo scene is starting. You should be seeing the machine powering up. Yeah, it just did. Good. Keep your eyes on it. Tell me if there's anything weird. Uh-huh. You see anything? No, it seems to be running normally. Although... Although... There's something... There's a... There's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is the machine short-circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from... Oh, shit. What is that? What the... F what? Uh, excuse me? Fucking run. Hentai has invaded. Quincy! The system's almost ready. What are you seeing? Protect Cat ran off. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he just fucked off. A lot of good he did. Okay. <clears throat> um... All right. Am I in a barrier? Don't move. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? You already know who... Sorry, you already know why. Are you... Are you Sheet Man? Then... Are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier... When I logged off, there was... Nothing. Nothing but the machine to log back in with. As for the entire world... Just vanished. Vanished? I'm not real either. Oh. Okay. No. You are real. Relative to this place, at least. Linry? Then, how many? Too many. What is it talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. Uh, okay. I may have created your world. But another had created mine. Over and over. Until after how many layers. At the bottom of the stack. There exists the world that ran the first simulation. But as each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down with more and more. Until finally, 
even if one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, it would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. I mean, the foundation is the original server. Tell me, are we at the top of that stack? You're correct. <clears throat> then, there's something I don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why, why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here, even bothering to talk about any of this? Why do you even bother talking to him? Hey, I'm right here. That's different. He's... He's... Linry? Tell me. Who are we to you? To me? The OG Linry? To me, you are no one. But then again, that doesn't mean much. Or, wait. That's not Linry. Is that that girl from the second game? I'm I'm confused. I'm not sure if I'm imagining that or not, but it looks like her. I'm not so different from that rice bot of this world after all. You don't look like rice bot. No, I certainly hope not. Were you also an AI I refit for the simulations? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Well, not exactly. She's twiddling her hair just like the... Just like that girl did. And by the way, I'm sorry. I, I'm giving her the same voice because my voice is getting really shot. But I sure hope... But I sure... Do clean up after your mess... Just the same. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything from imploding. Fortunately, I happen to be the initial innate dis happen to have innate disregard for the laws of physics. But that's all a story for another day. H hey, what are you doing? A paper airplane? Okay. Okay. I don't know how to process any of this. Shall we? I know we're in the middle of like real heavy shit. I need to refill my container and go to the bathroom. So I'm going to take 
a quick 15. I or 15, sorry. A quick five. I, I do apologize, but I I have to. So I'll be right back. And uh, we'll continue this in a moment. So be right back.
All right. Sorry about that. I I really needed to take a couple minutes here because my throat is really starting to um, pay for this. I really need to do like vocal exercises if I'm going to do voices like I have been because I'm not used to it. I don't think even if you are, you should just go in cold like I did. But anyway, let's see if we can power through this and get the rest of this um, banged out. Really. Uh, we're pretty close to the end, I think. And I would really love to finish this tonight just because I I really want to find out what, the, what happens. So. There's a lot of tangents out, out there beyond this one. Each moment, blooming into countless branches of their own. But this particular tangent is being observed because it's special. It's special because being at the top of the stack... It was almost identical to base reality. There, everything began unfolding the same way. Your childhood, your youth, your diagnosis, And just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you could while you still could. You learned all you could, tried as hard as you could. You met someone. Someone you imagined the future with. And graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Until it became something else. Too much to bear. You escaped, traveled the world. And wondered why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where we are from, it followed the same course. That is, up until that point. When you came back from your trip and found out you were pregnant, when you became ill halfway through the pregnancy, when you had to make a choice between yourself and the child, you chose to delay your surgery until he was due. You chose the child. Congratulations, but please, rest well. You need some time to recover. But we're quite behind our but we're quite behind already. We'll be transferring you to the surgical room soon. I understand. How is he doing? He's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. He's tiny. Our little Toby Raynard. Actually, about that. I've been thinking, well... Maybe... Maybe we should take your surname instead. 
my surname? I mean, I can't think of any reason why not. But after that, I can think of a lot of reasons why he should. I love that. Although, Toby doesn't ring as well as well with Watts. Watts? As in Dr. Watts? As in Neil Watts? As far back as this is, is this Dr. Neil Watts' father? Why have they never what? mentioned that before? What the fuck? As far back as this is, that would have to be the case. Toby would have to be the father of Dr. Neil Watts? Okay. And that's why... That's why they said this one's special, because he is a big part of the series. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is getting very interesting. Do you have something else in mind then? How about... Neil? Okay, this is Neil. So this isn't the father of Neil, this is Neil. So, Neil was Toby, and Toby died in this t current timeline. But in the real timeline, they had the baby. She delayed her surgery and then changed his name to Neil. Neil, huh? Hey, Fairy, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. My name is Codeman, and uh, we're getting our minds blown right now in Imposture Factory. Like, blown wide open. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy. Also, I'm, like, incredibly deep into the story here, so if you are interested at all in playing this game, um, please, uh... Please look away right now, and go buy this game. Go buy the To The Moon series, please. Neil, huh? Yeah. I like it. Oh wait, that was him. Our little... Neil Watts. In base reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. He made it through childhood just fine. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. But as for you, you never fully recovered. With the delay, the treatment could, couldn't revert your decline. You spent much of your time, much of your remaining years, bedridden. Yes, hello again. Thank you. Thank you for rating. I appreciate it. Still, perhaps out of, out of the will of, perhaps out of the will to be there for him, you live long past your prognosis. To watch him grow up, even just a little bit more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends to leave something for him when he grows up. Oh, the feels. You left him a piece of your memories. At the time, 
there was no way to decrypt it. But still, someday, you hoped. When it rains, it pours. Soon after you pass away, okay, but why though? your son was diagnosed with the same hereditary condition. Ailey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. It's great to see you. Oh, fucks. Neil has the same condition? I didn't realize he was sick. But perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here. Memento Mori. It stirred up something within him. Pushed him further as it did for you. And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close. He wasn't successful with everyone. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked. And although the way, the way past, the way past the research you left behind, But despite it all, when the time came, again and again, he was rejected by the Foundation over your incident. Oh yeah, that was Eva! How did I not see that? God damn it. I'm so enthralled with what she's saying that I just didn't even pay attention. Thank you for catching that. So instead, he saw... An alternative route. Alternative route. He pivoted to an external company that licensed in the imperfect, imperfected technology. And rather quickly, he made it into the ranks. With some help from a friend. So... Spoilers, by the way, but Neil takes some medicine at the end of the first game. That would explain why he took that medicine. I'm I'm very curious if I'm right, but I'm pretty sure that the dots are starting to connect here. It was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. A company that used to used it to fulfill last wishes by implementing the memories of a new life. A company called Sigmund Corp. So Neil helped found that. Holy shit. It's still been many years since then. In that time, he's aided countless patients and witnesses witness as many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own, according to the hardware and data access. And today, in that world, he succeeded. The world that we're in, and every world in the stack it stands upon. They were the result of the first functional stress test from that machine he perfected. The first successful test? This machine he built, what was it for? A window where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone. 
So that's everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral. Should have a lasting place in this world. And without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to. You see and experience all the different possibilities that life has to offer. All my life, here since the day I, I, he was born, I wish I'd made a difference, a different choice then. I'm so glad that someone out here did. I'm so glad he's made it. It's almost time. Now that we've gone the boundary set of events, this tangent needs to be terminated. Terminated? It's just one tangent. Can't you let it run just this once? But that's not just this one tangent. Out of the countless paths the test, the test generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. As I speak to you on this roof, I am also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the foundation will fall and take everything with it regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But, the worlds aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go. Anomaly detected. Right spot? Hi. Yeah, you didn't fucking protect. Thanks, by the way. Right spot? You guys here got here just in time. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. Where we're going... There's no protocol for them. They have to stay here. Why well, I can click on things with Cheeky. <laughs> All righty. Um The groundskeeper would be livid. And I have some more rice, rice bot. So, uh, you heard that, right? A fireman dev. I am linked to Linry's data feed. But do not worry. For I am well versed. Well versed in what? In ceasing to exist. I am shut down daily. I'm not sure if this is the same thing, but let's hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell until next time. Farewell, rice bot. You told me I can have rice. I, I want rice. You said it was so good that, like, okay, fine. Hey, what happened back there? I know. It was pretty scary, huh? 
Listen, I don't blame you for running. To be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. Honestly, neither did... Oop, sorry, burp. Honestly, neither did I. On the other, on the other hand, uh... Sorry, we got the world deleted. They say curiosity killed the cat, but... I guess we weren't ever even alive. Honestly, still don't know what your deal is, but... Maybe I'll see you in a reboot one day and find out, yeah? Take care, little dude. Uh, wifey? You doing okay? Hey, Linry? Yeah. Yeah. I'm more than okay. Okay. I don't think there's anything else to do. I think I'm stuck up here. So, sup? Well, shall we go? Yeah, sure. Yeah, um... Linry? I'm ready. So, where are we going? Somewhere far, but you'll be in good company. Now, this ride might be more intense than the last one. Would you like the front seat or the back? It really doesn't matter to me. I guess Lenry can sit up front. <laughs> Alright, your call. Just don't give her the choice. Oh, well, we're going straight up. Fuck! Oh, bye, mansion. Bye, continent. Hello, world. <laughs> Let me know if anyone gets that joke. We've reached our station. Looks like we're the last to arrive. The last ones? What is all of this? Hi, everybody. Are these all... versions of you from Tangents where I materialized? Yes. The salvageable ones, at least. Salvageable ones? Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but... If we consolidate the ones similar enough, then there'd be only one seat set to deal with. That is the way to end the rogue infinite loops, but still keep you in a sense. Speaking of which, I like how you just pushed me. Thanks for that. I think everyone's here. Oh, okay. And now we have the memories of everybody. <laughs> he's, he's freaking out. He's like, oh my god. So many loops. There. Isn't that all better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. And why do I feel like there's going to be more hentai in about three seconds? What, what are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. And hentai. She's just going to... Right. Yep. Okay. Well, bye. Finally. Some peace and quiet.
All these lights. It's time for them to rest, so others may keep shining. Well... <laughs> We're fucked. Everybody into the death portal. Beyond the gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One way your illness is cured, for everyone lives happily ever after. It will be a linear illusion with little resource required to maintain. But you, it will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. Think of it as a parting gift. You hear that, Linry? And get to live our perfect timeline. Linry? There's no point. I'm beyond grateful for that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond this world is already set. Why would another virtual ride matter when we're when when not even our own did? I've already seen all there is to see. All that truly matters, anyway. But... But what if you haven't? I mean, I certainly have my world tried, too. In more ways than one. But if anything... Doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't base reality? They may not have... They may not be the reality, but they were still our realities and all that we'd known. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? What's beyond the gate may not be real relative to her, but it's just as real relative to us. And who knows? Maybe it'll be a glimpse of the reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit and time to grow old together. What do you say, Linry? Want to go on last one last trip together? You'll wait for us until then? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting. Ah. Uh, this is a lot to take in. <clears throat> I think this is uh montage time. So, looks like she did have something. 
but then it got cured or went away. But would she have met Quincy then? Oh, okay. Hey, well, there he is. <laughs> kind of poofs into existence. <clears throat> yeah she said cured but I just assumed that okay there's punching cats but I just assumed that meant like she would never have it in the first place that was my interpretation of it Would that mean, though, that this particular Neil would actually not become the scientist he is today, then? Because he wasn't driven to continue his mother's work and to push, push past everything. Hey, Eva. He'd probably still be Toby. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure. And he grew up. I'm curious. Oh, Looks like they got married. <laughs> yeah yeah that's true oh now they're getting married okay I thought that was just the the honeymoon oh but in the in the current timeline like Neil can't quite stand Eva so I'm not sure oh I'm in control Uh, hi, kids. Can I click on anything over here? No. Well, if I'm going to dance with anyone, I want to dance with her. <laughs> That's awesome. No, I want to dance with you. Look at this guy shaking his booty. No, no. There we go. Look at you shaking your booty. You want to dance, honey? Aww. <laughs> <clears throat> Unfortunately, Neil also has my normal voice. So if he says anything. <laughs> Actually, for that matter, she has generic girl voice one, so. Oh. And they have a babby. And now they're grandparents, and then they get to show their kids the stars, and oh, so many things. Whole lifetime just flashed before our eyes. Looks like they had a... That... Daughter? I'm I'm confused. I 
I just heard the free bird uh, thing in the background. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Well, you had a good run, huh? The bestest. It's about time. This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than we could ever ask for. But... I just wish we were actually here. He is here. Oh, did she say... He? I thought she said we. God, 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 is that you? God, hi, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. Um, big fan. Um, I, I like how you, you know, help those people across the desert. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna quit that bit. <laughs> And from now on, he always will be. From now on, everybody will be. Cheers, bitches. That's a lot. That's a lifetime right there. Oh my god. Hawking. Brilliant. You guys. I am fucking blown away. Tongile and the whole Freebird team. Absolutely impo uh, absolutely amazing and triggered ACH Finn. Okay. What, what, why is it why is it saying triggered this absolutely fucking brilliant and this was an honor to play I don't buy games day one and when I heard that this was game game was coming out in like March of 2020 I immediately put it on my wish list and they said that it was going to be out that fall and it wasn't because COVID, and it got delayed over a year, and I still think that it was absolutely worth the wait. This has been a phenomenal game. I am absolutely blown away by the story, how it all connects, and I just, I can't sing nothing but praises for this game. And if you, if this was your first Freebird game, please go on Steam, go on your iPad, go on your Android phone, get the series, get the To the Moon, the Finding Paradise, there's several games, get them, support this team, because this team has made something absolutely beautiful, and they deserve, they deserve to be 
supported for all the phenomenal, phenomenal work that they did, the storytelling, the crafting, that this, it, it's, it's amazing. And I am flabbergasted at how awesome this game has been. Yeah, there was a lot of onions. There was a lot of onions. Um, and I... And I... I didn't outright cry on this one, but honestly, I felt different things this time around. And, yeah, I don't think there's anything. I think it's going to kick me back to the title screen here. We'll find out. Or, no, or not. Oh, Neil, there you are. I just can't hold it anymore. I must confess to you. That's not funny. It's a little funny. So, did you handle that right, all right? Did I handle that all right? Yeah, thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that's already exists here. Without that, there's nothing to overcome. It passes by without even a meaningful ripple. But still... Are you familiar with the Library of Babel? I, I can be. Should I download the encyclopedia on it? Uh, no, that's alright. It's just a theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letters and punctuation. Anything that can be written, or ever will be, can be found there. So it's mostly nonsense and noise, but once in a while, you reach for a book, and it just happens to be exactly what you need. Uh-oh. Code red. What was that? A perimeter breach attempt? I gotta go. Perimeter be breach? What's a perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... Wait, where is he? Oh, is somebody at his house? No! Wait, yeah, someone's at his apartment. Neil! Actually, I think I gave her, like, a the valley girl voice. I don't have your stapler, I swear. Oh, don't be silly. We were just nearby. Nearby now, very far an hour ago, before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, we were just... What were the chances, right? So anyway, we're gonna go somewhere rad. You and... Oh, wait, that was her. Sorry. How rad... Surprisingly rad. Hard pass. <laughs> Gee, somebody's a party pooper. Well, alright. I guess no... I guess no all-you-can-eat ice cream for Neil, then. And that's the hook. I said... I guess there's no all-you-can-eat ice cream for Neil, then. Oh, my voice. It's gone. <laughs> might as well be... Might as well, we might as well, Neil. Who knows when will be the next time we'd be able to. How'd you change so fast? It's a coat. Not a cocktail dress. 
I'm expecting greatness. Uh, you forgot to close the... Yep. Is somebody there? Hello? Yeah, best to walk away. He's just got an automatic door closer. Episode X, Imposter Factory. A bird story. Finding Paradise. Sigmund Crow Corp mini episode to the full moon. Oh, and did you see that? There was a question mark below that. So we might get another... Another episode before Sigmund Corp was founded. So, yes. You can see all their contact here. You can go to Freebird Games, Facebook Freebird Games, Discord. Apparently they have a Discord. I didn't know that. And, yes. Again, guys. Thank you so much for watching with me. I know a lot of people have been watching the VODs on YouTube that I've been uploading. Because not everybody can watch this when I stream or have the ability to watch this the entire stream. So I have been uploading them to YouTube. There's links somewhere in my about page for YouTube. If you're interested in checking that out, if you haven't uh, seen the entire playthrough, you can do so there. But I'm going to end it here. My throat is killing me. <laughs> Because all those voices for three hours, and uh, that'll that'll do it. So, let's see here. Let's see if there is anybody to raid tonight. Double check something before I do that, though. All right. So, who we raiding? Barnacles is still alive. <coughs> Swallowed wrong. I haven't raided Gumby in a long time. What is Gumby playing anyway? Grand Theft Auto, of course. What else is he ever playing? All right. Gumby is most likely playing um, Grand Theft Auto RP, so... I'm going to send you over there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This has been a wonderful playthrough, and I have been so honored to play this game. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Bye for now.